in this question, you're being asked uh, to work out how long it would take to get to Mildura. Okay, you're told, so that's your question, how long to get to Mildura. Now the question assumes um, that you remember that we left Melbourne. Okay. So you're basing this on the previous question where you were working out the distance between Melbourne and Mildura. And now you're being told you're travelling at an average speed of 80 kilometres per hour. So this is the first part of the question, how long would it take to get there? So this is what we need to work out first. I'm going to actually do this with a different example first, and then we'll come back to this one. Okay, so you might remember that in the first question, I did an example with um, Melbourne to Albury. And we work that out to be, uh, by road, 400 kilometres. Okay. So if we're travelling at an average speed of, let's say, 60 kilometres this time, I want to give you different numbers so that you have to apply it because that way I know that you actually understand um, what we're doing here. So if I'm saying that we've got an average speed of 60 kilometres per hour, we want to know um, how long. And the units that this answer would be in is in hours. We can work that out from this question. Because if you have a look here, um, speed tells us our formula, kilometres over hours, per hour. So we've already got kilometres here, so we're going to need um, hours in our answer here. Okay, so now we want to work out what that time is. So how long is really referring to time? So if we remember the speed formula, speed equals distance over time. And again, we can tell that from the, the units, kilometres per hour. So we've got the distance units first and then we've got the hour units second. So if we now want to sub in to this formula what we already know, we can then start to pull it apart. So just remember we can write um, distance over time as D over T and speed as S. Okay, so here the speed was 60, the distance was 400, they're all in the same unit so I can leave the units off and the time is the unknown. Okay, so we want to get time all on its own so I'm just going to come up here. So to get time on its own, I actually need to times do a bit of rearranging here. So 60, this side here I've got um, divide by, you see times divided. I need to move it to this side. So it's divide on this side, I'm going to have to multiply it on that side. So let's try and do that. So 60 times T equals 400. Now I want to get that uh, time all by itself. So on the next line, I want to keep time here, um, but I want to move the 60 across here. So this time it's times, over this side it's going to be divide. So here, 400 divided by 60. Okay. So now I can just plug that into a calculator. And using my calculator, it works out to be 6.66667. Hours. Now we can round this time, of course, but what we need to do is actually work out as hours and minutes because we don't really recognise 66 uh, out of 100 hours. Hours is 60 minutes long. So we know that we've got six hours, but how many minutes do we have? Okay, I'm going to show you on the next slide how to work that out. Okay. 
So if I've got 6.66667 hours, okay, I know that my hole here is whole hours. So I have six whole hours. Okay. But what I have over this side is parts of hours. I've got 0 0.66667 of one hour. Now, whenever we say of, we actually mean times. So if I go 0 0.6667, Six, 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 seven times um, the number of minutes in an hour. So there's 60 minutes in an hour. So if I times it by 60, um, again, we'll plug this into a calculator. And the answer is 40 minutes. And that makes sense because we know that 0.6666 like this is roughly two-thirds. So I'll write this in a different colour. We know that is roughly two-thirds. Okay, so if we're thinking of a clock, and I cut it into three equal pieces, we know that this piece is going to be 20 minutes, this piece would then be 40 minutes, and that piece there would be 60 minutes to make up the whole hour. So if I've got one-third and two thirds, I've got 40 minutes. Does that make sense? So the answer for how long in this question would be six hours and 40 minutes.